doll room today I am super excited to review this doll this is the Enchantress Naja from the 2020 fashion royalty virtual convention she was the Thursday centerpiece and she's limited edition of $600 worldwide and I am so happy I was able to snag her for retail so we're gonna get her out of the box and then I'm gonna show you all the things to make her so special okay so we're gonna get Miss Naja out of the box And as you guys know, she she comes all packaged up like a gift in her tissue paper. And I want to give you a shot of her box. She has the beautiful Agnes that's on the face of the box. And it's like this purple um, mylar material. The box is a work of art in itself. So it's really beautiful. It has the um, 25th anniversary Agnes. For the W Club members, that's the face on the box. So I'll try to turn that. That's a good shot of that box. It really is a beautiful box, and I'll make sure I keep at least one of these for my collection. All right, so it's just gorgeous. Even the box, I think the purple of the box, you know, really accentuates the tones in her beaded top and her makeup it really is a spectacular presentation with this gorgeous the enchantress Nadja rhymes dress doll she's item number 82131 and on her box it says the 2020 integrity toys 25th anniversary convention legendary new face Thursday centerpiece limited edition six hundred dolls Naja's head sculpt is the 2.0 version and she comes on the new face 3.0 body and it is a high heel body and the skin tone is the Nubian skin tone. Her color, her hair color is brunette and she does have hand applied lashes but she does not have the quick switch head feature. This Naja um, is a homage back to the illusionist Naja. All right, so we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous nausea. Man, I almost hate to take her out of the box. She's so beautiful. But she's staying, so she has to come out of this box. All right, so we have her certificate of authenticity. And the Enchantress Nausea, I have number 557 of 660 dolls, okay? So let's get her out of the box. Oh, she's so gorgeous. That. So let's get this little plastic. It's like a little plastic shield over her beaded bodice. And I want to be very careful because I don't want to cut anything. And there we have that. And we'll just... Alright, now this beading is laid over some black netting. That's what makes the top. And it is very skimpy. Barely covers her, her boobs. But this doll's outfit is a homage to the illusionist Naja that uh, debuted in 2008 at the Heist Convention. So, she's a throwback to that fashion and it's like a little knitted dress and it has the fringe and the beads all sewn to it 
and I love these little top knots here these little braided buns she has on top of her head that is so cute and she has the little ear cuff at the top of her ear that came already on the doll let's take off these little leg protectors keeps the knees from bending all right so we have her out of the box and let me show you some close-up of her accessories here so she has these fabulous gold door knocker style earrings it has a little white and black stripe detail on the sides and she has these glorious gold cuff bracelets and she has a ring as well so the jewelry is very beautiful and these shoes are to die for let's get them out of the pack all right so we have some animal print looks like snake print and a neon yellow sole in the shoe and very stiletto heel let's see Maybe you can see them better that way. And it has an ankle strap and has these little ribbon black straps that go up the vamp of the um, shoe and a zipper in the back. Okay, so we'll get those on them on her. And then the stole, she comes with, it's, it's more like a little shrug. It's like a very violet fuchsia almost. And it's lined in this same animal print. It has a little closure right here, so it'll stay closed on her. And now she comes with her long nail manicure on and then she also has a pair of curved and short hands with the same color manicure in case she wants to hold her purse or you want to pose her with the short nails on so let me just give you a close-up of this So let's get Naja all put together and then I'll get her on a stand and we'll talk about her some more. Okay, so we are back. I have her earrings in and you know she has some neutral eyeshadow on and it's like a pale frosted, I don't know, fuchsia plum looking lipstick. And she does have some very cute little baby hairs across the forehead on her edges. All in all, I really think this is a spectacular presentation of Nausea 2.0. I am loving these braided buns in her hair. It is just awesome. She's such a beautiful doll. And I can see her, you know, being versatile, not just in this outfit, but, you know, to redress her. And eventually one day I may get around to that. But I'm going to get her on a stand. Her stand has the uh, legendary Agnes. Take that out. There you go. And she does have her ring on. And I'll just pose her with her hand lightly on her hip. And you're going to have to be careful with this because the, the bodice of the dress is mesh. So we don't want one of those long nails snagging. 
the knit on that dress. And let's just pull this out a little bit so you guys can see her. Okay, so this is the close-up beauty shot of the Enchantress Nausea. This is just a beautiful doll. I love everything about her. I think this is some of Jessie's finest work. So thank you, Jessie, for such a fabulous and striking doll. She will surely be a jewel of my collection for years to come. Just a great presentation overall. And... Let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see the um, edges that she has up there that's drawn around her hairline. But let me just give you, I'm not going to put the stole on her. I just laid it over her arm. Those fabulous shoes. All the different textures, the beading, the fringe, the net, the fur, all of that just goes together to make one heck of a presentation. And this is the back of her dress. She is wearing this halter dress. And her shoes zipper up the back. Thank goodness. We have a little wardrobe malfunction over here. So let's get that covered up. I think this is how she'll be displayed in my detail cabinet. Holding her stole on her hip. Rocking her fabulous outfit. Okay guys, so this was just wonderful. I was so excited to receive this doll. Um, probably out of all the dolls that I'm keeping from convention, this was my number one pick. Jessie, you did a great job designing this doll. I like everything about her. I love her braided buns. Her jewelry is to die for and it's very versatile. I'll be able to incorporate that in other redressing possibilities. And her outfit, great homage to the Illusionist Nausea from 2008 Heist Convention. Love the animal print, all the texture and everything that you did to incorporate into this design for this doll. So this concludes my doll review of the Enchantress Nausea. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.